Yo, Shalom, I'm going to say all praises to Yahweh. Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shai, Ba'a Shem Rakak with Dash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. We are here in Columbus, Ohio, once again, to wake up the lawsuit for the house of Israel. You going over there? Oh, shit. What, you want to go into that bullshit? Yeah, yeah. I got a scripture for that one. Yeah, well, because we was just reading an article in the uh, in the news. They said they found a lost Ark of the Covenant. Well, you know that's some bullshit. I know, right? Oh, shit. You know, you know what scripture I'm talking about? Hey, they can't find an Ark of the Covenant. The scripture says if you're not from the tribe of Levi, you touch it, you're going to drop dead. So how you going to find an Ark of the Covenant? This is crazy. I think it's second Maccabees is the second chapter. What you got? Alright, go ahead. I won't be surprised if they say some of the fake Jews from Israel came over there and they were Levites. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. You know how them bastards do it? Oh, excuse me. Good. Prophesying the kingdom of heaven. Okay. And America's about to be destroyed by fire. Well, I hope that. Oh, uh, you hope well, not. I, I know it's already on fire down in California, but I hope it don't spread. Hope it don't, hope it don't catch up with us. Oh, it's gonna cut. It's gonna be uh, 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 from the east coast to the west coast. California burning already, and it's coming this way, huh? All right, no, nah, the fire gonna cover. The Lord gonna destroy America by fire. It's the kingdom of Satan. <laughs> you listen, know what I mean? Bro. Hey, listen, man. You know about the. You, everybody know about the war. War. I like. Too, right? I like to say, kick the child. All right, I, I gotta go cross street. But check it out real quick. I can't. I got to go, man. Three. That's how I the gotta, fire I know it's free. I got to go, man. All right, all right. I understand you, bro. I know you ain't getting the word and everything. <laughs> I, I, you had yours and I got go mine. Have a good one. <laughs> Let's go back to the Hey, hell, we're here, bro. He's Yeah, you don't want. I mean, that's why he's going to burn in the fire. That's right. That's right. Ain't no other way to put the, but to put it that way, man. Here we go. Oh, I ain't hold up. Let me find us. Niggas are stupid. Hey, never got time for nothing. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's why the Lord ain't gonna have time for them. Oh, what's that scripture when the Lord said, uh, on that day, the Lord's gonna say, I did not, I don't know you? Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, this, what's that scripture? That whoever denied the son, son of the Most High, he gonna deny you. <laughs> Jake is crazy. Stupid as shit. Stuck on fucking full blown retard. Okay, here we go. This is the article Bible Ark Found End of Days Relic Smuggled by Jews to Africa. There, I knew it. There. It's, oh, no, they're going to say that the uh, other fake Jews are the real Jews, I bet. Yeah. They said they smuggled into Africa? Right. When did they got a date on that? <laughs> Oh, shit, what the fuck? Yeah, pop up and shit. Yeah. I hate that bullshit. All the fuckers in that goddamn bullshit. Bible scholars claim to have uncovered the final resting place of the legendary Ark of the Covenant, saying the holy relic was most likely smuggled out of out of Israel to Africa. I can't wait to watch this video later. Though. Bible Archaeologist Search and Exploration Institute base claims there is strong evidence that the Old Testament's Ark resting place is in Ethiopia. What scripture is that? <laughs> they ain't got no narrow scripture on that. Right. The Ark of the Covenant is one of the most sought after relics from the Bible. Being the trunk, trunk said to certain 
so contained the Ten Commandments and handed down to Moses on Mount Sinai. It is said the chest is made of wood and covered in gold, containing the two stone tablets along with other par paraphernalia from the Bible. Another thing too, like how could it be in Ethiopia? Because the Ethiopians are uh, Hamites. You gotta be from the tribe of Levi to even touch the ark. Um, Ethiopia has long had a connection to the ark. With Christians in the country outright claiming to be current holders of the relic with this underguard at the Church of Our Lady Mar Mary of Zion. You know what? Let me find it. I said they've been made documentaries on that a long time ago. The, 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 the account where the, the, uh, the Philistines had the ark and they sent that bad boy back. Hold on, let me find it. What's that? Judges, ain't it? So, and that was linked on the Drudge Report, right? Yeah. So that's like a major article. Yeah. Drudge, So that's like mainstream news. That ain't like one of the whacked out sites. What, uh, what news site was that on? That's all right. But I've seen that video. They have video. Everybody been making videos on it. Like, see? This is, this is the coming of the end of days. They, they found the ark. <laughs> you know all these whacked out Christians on YouTube making their conspiracy videos? This dude is all bugged out, man. Would you? It's in, uh, it's in Judges. Judges? Oh, okay. okay, I was thinking numbers. Okay, Judges. I'm pretty sure it's in Judges. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I can find it real quick. I got that search engine. When you hit the motherfuckers with some uncurable shit, they fuck with it. For having it around, I remember that. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, it was good. So, they all snuck up on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got there quick. <laughs> you got Shallow water was good. Yeah. Sorry. I always go into that story. Y'all see the story about they, they claim they found the Ark of the Covenant? You ain't see that bullshit? You, uh, where's that? You know where that scripture is in Judges? Where they, uh, ain't that Judges? Where the Philistines stole the Ark? Maybe that was David one. So that'd be in first Samuel. I'm just gonna type in art. First Samuel. Yeah, that was during the time of David, you're right. I'm getting my stories mixed David up. Got it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's Came first dance, that's first Samuel the fourth chapter. First chapter. The fourth you sure? Yeah, I think so. I think that's right. Hold up. That could be off though. Yeah, yeah. Where, uh, yeah, it is. It's, it's six. It's six. Oh, okay. Six. I think it starts from four, but it's a long story. Okay. What's Sorry for my, making y'all wait so long. So this is why we're going into it, like talking about the first stuff. Hey, we ain't nobody out here, bro. Where everybody go? Fleeing the word, bro. We about to get the we about, the word. We about to get the hey, rush soon, though. Here we go. It says Ethiopia. Ethiopia has long had a con had a connection to the ark. Now, like we should, like you said, where's that in the scriptures? They, the, the scriptures say that only the tribe of Levi was allowed to touch the ark. That's right. Not no damn Ethiopians. You know the, the Rastafari's are going crazy over there. They're like, see, Ali Salasai. That's what we 
<laughs> oh, they, 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 that's what they keep the weed in the ark. <laughs> you know, that's why you some bugs out. They said weed grow out of Solomon's grave or something. <laughs> sure do. With Christians in the country outright claiming to be current holders of the relic, was it under guard at the church of Our Lady Mary of Zion? Based archaeologists have claimed there is compelling evidence that the ark was in fact taken to Africa by ancient Jews as it was sailed down the Nile. Where scripture is that Where though? Is that the scripture? There's no right. account of that. You know, do they go making up shit again? Well, here we go. Let me read this uh, first Samuel. After that, I got a, I got a scripture to tell you what happened to it. First Samuel six and one says, "And the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months, and the Philistines called for the priests and the diviners, saying, What shall we do to the ark of the Lord?" What's Tell up, us where we we shall we shall send it. What's up? Where place? you going? Yeah. He's trying to sneak by us, huh? <laughs> you been studying those scriptures? Yeah. You been studying the scriptures for real? Yeah. You ain't got a lot of us, man. <laughs> you know. All right, you're free. Go free to go. That's from boy. He's terrified. <laughs> what shall we do to the ark of the Lord? Tell us where we shall send it to this place. And they said, if he send away the ark of the Most High, uh, you know what? Hold up. Let me start the following, man. I think it goes into why they sent to him. It might be further along in. It started on four. That's a long story. Oh, here we go. It's in fire. It's in fire. Okay. First Samuel 5. In 5. Therefore, neither the priests of Dagon nor any that come, come into Dagon's house tread on the threshold of Dagon and Ashdod unto this day. But the hand of the Lord was heavy upon them and Ashdod, and he destroyed them and smote them with, with Imran, even Ashdod and the coast thereof. Yeah, Dagon, that was that fish god. That was the top god of the Canaanites. And that's why today you see the Pope, he wears a fish hat. Yeah, you know about that? You ever see that pointed hat the Pope wears? You know how that goes back to Dagon, the fish god. Then they get hit with lights or something? Well, you looking that word up? Yeah, I think that's what they was on. With that. I don't care oh shit, I sh when they were shit on they shit themselves to death. I got a, a concordance on my phone. What scripture was that? Uh first Samuel six. First Samuel five and six. Well, I downloaded that concordance, boy. I don't need that. Concordance. First Samuel, I'm sorry, I didn't pay attention. What, what is it? First Samuel five and six. First, first Samuel five and six. Okay. Samuel five and six. Yeah, you can read it. That's it. The Most High hit them with tumors. Tumors was growing in their intestines and their in their anal asshole. Hemorrhoids. hemorrhoids. Yeah, this one says hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. So, oh, so, so what? That what happened with hemorrhoids? Uh, the flesh was growing out their ass. You, you know? know, hemorrhoids get giant yeah, too. Yeah, right, right, right. So they walking around like that. That episode of uh, uh, South Park when Randy's had cancer in his nuts and they was carrying around oh, his nuts are so big the same thing they were them hemorrhoids was growing that, like some elephantitis or something. <laughs> right right exactly the exactly. hemorrhoids so they say them hemorrhoids get so bad you can't sit down and do nothing can't do nothing right and he destroyed them and smote them with Imran even Ashdod and the coast of everybody he hit them all man and when the men of Ashdod <laughs> saw that it was so they said the ark of the most high of Israel shall not abide with us for his hand is sour upon us and upon Dagon our God. Yeah, so let me read this real quick. Oh, it says that, what was that? How do you say that word? Imran. And what well, Hebrew is takar, but uh, uh, Imrod. Yeah. But it says from an unused root meaning to burn, a boil or ulcer from an inflammation, especially a tumor in the anus mm, or pudenda. <laughs> Uh, That's right. Uh, tumor in the anus. And it's the same thing with two thirds with the rebellious people of Israel. Most likely when he talk with some uncurable people, with, with some uncurable shit. He already hit them with it. To him, man. You know? What's up, my name? 
Them hemorrhoids, <laughs> but yeah, that's what that was the punishment for uh, for the wrong people having the Ark of the Covenant because you can see, uh, like you said, that the county of the Philistines when they had the Ark of the Covenant, the Lord hit them with them hemorrhoids. Any other scripture said they got hit with lights too or something? Yeah, I think so. So that, that tells you that that's a lie that them Ethiopians got the Ark because the Lord would have jacked them up. Uh, you use more than that. I got a scripture. Yeah. What's the scripture say that the Lord don't give them the nations? They sent therefore and gathered all of the lords of the Philistines unto them and said, What shall we do with the ark of the Most High of Israel? And they answered, Let the ark of the Most High of Israel be carried about unto God. And they carried the ark of the Most High of Israel unto them, about them. And it was so that. After they had carried it about, the hand of the Lord was against the city with a very great destruction. And he smote the men of the city, both small and great, and they had emrods in their secret part. Damn, he hit them with more emrods. Damn. With more emrods. So their dicks was going to shit too. Oh. That's the secret part. Oh, oh the secret Oh, oh. 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 God. You know, hey, hey, again, a warning to two thirds, man. They don't know what they got coming down the line. Oh, field, man. shit. You know? You don't want to be in the receiving end of the terror of the Lord, man. You know? And that's what's going to happen. I had to carry my wheelbarrow. Yeah. Oh, not oh, them mention that about Randy from South Park and Nuts. <laughs> well, you see that's real, though. Yeah. It's all kind of this. Right, right. The most high, fuck you up. You see people get all kind of deformities and stuff. Yeah. I was just watching this video this other day. This dude, he got some kind of rare disease in his feet. Just got gigantic. Yeah. You know, his feet swelled up, he can't even walk. The Lord will make your nuts swell up to the size of a basketball. You fuck with some of these no good ass, filthy ass women. Israelite women, that's what happens. You get, they call it on. They call it on. The clap. There's all kind of names for it, man, when your balls grow real big and shit. Of course, you're filling up with pus. Uh. Like this bitch right here, you fuck her, man. Huh. She probably fucks that dog, you know? Of course, that's mentioned in the scriptures, bestiality here. 
You know, because people are they, you already know it's the fact these bitches are fucking their dogs, man. Letting the dogs eat their pussy and shit, put honey on their pussy. This is all over the internet. Right. Rebellious ass people. It says. And they had emeralds in their secret parts, therefore they Ooh. sent the Ark of the Most High to Akron. And it came to pass as the Ark of the Most High came to Akron that the Akronites cried out, saying, They have brought about the Ark of the Most High of Israel to us. It keeps man saying, Of Israel. Yo, the Ark of Israel. Not the Ark of the Christians. <laughs> not the Ark of, you know, in Ethiopia. Right. But I'm sure you do get Israelites living in Ethiopia, though. Because Israel scattered among all nations. Yeah. You know, but come on, bro. That's just some fairy tale stuff. Talking about the Ark is in Ethiopia. Yeah, made up shit. They, see, that's the thing with the devil, man. The devil is so just nothing. You don't do nothing but make up shit. We ain't getting the Ark back to the kingdom. He's a fucking liar. He's a fucking liar. You know. Therefore, they sent the Ark of the Most High to. Brought up, they have brought about the Ark of the Most High of Israel to us, to slay us and our people. So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines and said, Send away the Ark of the Most High of Israel and let it go again to his own place, that it may slay us not and our people. For there was a deadly destruction throughout all the city. The hand of the Most High, Yahweh, was very heavy there. Whew. And the men that died not were smitten with the emperors and the cry of the city went up to heaven. So everybody in the whole city got the, the oh, emperors in, the, in, in their private parts. Everybody was crying. Good Lord. <laughs> that was it on five. Now verse six says, and the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months. And the Philistines called for the priest and the, the finder saying, what shall we do to the ark of the Lord? Tell us where we shall ascend into his place. They said, if ye send away the ark of the most high of Israel, send it not empty, but in any wise return him a trespass offering, then ye shall be healed, and it shall be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then said they, what shall be the trespass offering which we shall return to him? They answered, five golden emeralds. <laughs> golden emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I, I That's never... a heathen for you, man. That's <laughs> a heathen for you. Golden, where they gonna golden, cast? Golden the... tumors. What? Golden. <laughs> the scriptures are crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They bugged out, man. And the church ain't gonna go into this. Nah, they, I had never heard. Nah, the church ain't gonna tell you Jesus loves you. Hell That's man. all they gonna tell you. Golden hemorrhoids, man. You know what? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pull up the photo of hemorrhoids. You can see, you can see them here. They probably make a necklace out of it. Shit, Jake could probably wear that. Yeah. They, probably, they, wear they make it shit. as a hood ornament on a car. Yeah. They probably already wear it. I got a. Uh, you done with that? I got a. No, I ain't done. I'm just looking at the picture. Okay. Like a whole new script. We want to do this. Would you look at us some some emeralds? <laughs> oh wow, we gotta get that on camera. Nah, that everybody. It is deleted. Spell, spell him words H Y. Right, that's a hard word to spell. M. I got it. I got spelled it right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm scared to push images. Here uh -huh. we go. <laughs> here we go. What the hell? This is crazy. Oh, this one. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, damn. Get it on camera. Well, you gotta let, you gotta put a fear in people. Yeah, that's the fear of the Lord, buddy. This is happening when you tip the Lord out power. Oh, that's damn. a hemorrhoid. That's what the most high was. That's what he hit these Philistines with. That's what he's going to hit Jake with. Jake already getting hit with it now anyway. For walking funny down right, the street. For eating all kinds of unclean things, man. They getting hit, you get hit with hemorrhoids for not washing your ass properly too. That's like, that's a that's a fear of the Lord. Like, you ever heard of a, a bidet? You gotta get a bidet added to your toilet, man. Or eventually you gonna catch up too. <laughs> eventually. Oh my god, this is uh, You gotta blast that shit away, man. 
Some toilet paper is not designed to wipe it all the way anyway. <laughs> shit. You use a whole goddamn roll to wipe your shit. I gotta take a shower after, shit, after I take a shit. Get, right, right. Man, that's some shit, man. That's some nasty shit, boy. Oh, God, man. And most of I hit them with massive ones. They was grown big as fuck. On it, not in, in their ass and in their, on their penis. Their, their rods, right. Oh. Okay, let me get them scripts. That's, that's terrifying, bro. Most high ain't nothing to be played with. Just imagine if we stopped teaching, what would happen to us? It'd be worse. He hit you with some kind of incurable disease. He probably would give us a slow, painful death too. Make, make you suffer. Nope, not me. Okay, who was I at? They then said they, what shall be the trespass offering which we shall return to him? They answered five golden emeralds and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines, for one yeah. leg was on the wall and on your lords. Five golden mice? Jake melted that shit down. That's some bugged out shit, five golden mice. For one leg. All right. Wherefore, ye shall make images of your emeralds <laughs> and images of your mice that mar the land, and ye shall give glory unto the power of Israel. So they probably had some po uh, some uh, disease infested mice and rats oh, running through there too. The it's probably eating off of the uh. You know they said that's how the black plague got started too, the dark ages, by them rats, and then that lice. Um, and ye shall give glory unto the power of Israel. Fair picture. He will lighten his hand from off you, and from off your gods, and from off your land. Wherefore then do ye hearken your hearts, as of Egyptians and Pharaoh hearken their hearts. When he had wrought wonderful among them, did they not let the people go when they departed? Now therefore make a new cart, and take two milk kind, on which there have come no yoke, and tie the kind to the cart, and bring their calves home from them. Okay. Did you have something you want to get? I got a scripture. Yeah. Oh, sure. I, I'm a, I got a scripture. What was you about to get? All right. Oh, you're still in the ark? Yeah, I got, I got, I got the ark scripture. Now, I was just reading this last night because I was watching the videos. They said they, I was commenting the comment boards, showing people what, what what the scriptures say happened to the ark. You can read. You got a, uh, you got a apocrypha. You know about the apocrypha, right? But this right here, I think, uh, in 2 Maccabees 2 and 1, it said, it is also found in the records that Jeremy the prophet commanded them that were carried away to take of the fire as it had been signified. And how that the prophet, having given them the law, charged them not to forget the commandments of the Lord and that they should not err in their minds when they see images of silver and gold in their ornaments. And with other such speeches, exhorted he them that the law should not depart from their hearts. And really, that's what we're doing out here. Telling people, you know, the law is not supposed to depart from your heart, which is your mind. Your heart's your mind. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was also contained in the same writing that the prophet, being warned of the Most High, commanded the tabernacle and the ark to go with him as he went forth into the mountain where Moses climbed up and saw the heritage of the Most High. When the, what's the mountain? It's be Mount Sinai, right? Mount Horeb, Mount Sinai. So he took the ark up to, to Mount Sinai according to this. And when Jeremy came thither, he found a hollow cave wherein he laid the tabernacle and the ark and an altar of incest, and so stopped the door. And some of those that followed him came to mark the way, but they could not find it. Which when Jeremy perceived, he blamed him, saying, As for that place, it shall be unknown until the time that God gather his people again together and receive them unto mercy. Actually, let me continue. See, we're not going to know where the ark is until the Lord gathers Israel together again. Wow, we remember that thing is gone. 
Well, that's what it said right here. Yeah, Cause until you know, like got rid of the covenant. Yeah, pretty we're much. Like, we're that new covenant. Hey, that's right. The covenant in, in the kingdom of heaven. That's Dog. what Jeremiah 3 going into. Hey, let me read a little bit more of this, though. Right. Hey, you're right. That's true, though. It says, uh, Then shall the Lord show them these things, and the glory of the Lord shall appear, and the cloud also, which is them chariots, as it was showed under Moses, and as when Solomon desired that place might be honorably sanctified. So that's the point. So that the scriptures tell us that the ark was sealed up and nobody could find a way. You know what I'm saying? They try to mark the way. They try to mark it so they can remember where the ark was and they still couldn't find it. Okay, Maccabees. Second Maccabees. Second Maccabees. That's, that's a good scripture. And it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied and increased in the land. In those days, saith the Lord, they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord. Neither shall it come to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit it, neither shall that be done anymore. Yeah, we ain't visiting the ark right now. Because the ark was. <laughs> that's man. Hey, that, that shit right there is sell books and sell some sell some movies, you know. What did you say at the beginning? Those Jews again. Right? Yep, yeah, it's always it starts with Esau. The Jews again. I'm talking about the art. Do you guys scripture you that? Woo! Uh, I want to hear it. It's uh, Rock 10, uh, 13. For Friday is the beginning of sin, and he that have a shot for abomination. Therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. He brought forth strange calamities. Oh, they get hit with them hemorrhoids. <laughs> They're still in the ark. That was a strange calamity. But the Lord going to hit Israel with them strange calamities. They don't, they don't want to listen to the words of the Lord. They want to deny Yahweh Shai. They're going to get hit with some calamities. He got a bunch of, yeah, a bunch of. Right, they've they they been hit with it right now, but like the scripture says, this stuff happened to them, but they don't understand why, man. They don't oh, understand why. Yeah, because you always hear people be like, uh, I've been always praying to the Lord, but he don't never answer my prayers. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> hey, you always hear him say that. First of all, you got to call him by his name. Hey, that's true. That's why he ain't answering. They're calling on sweet Jesus. Come back! Come back! Come back! Yeah, I my name. All right, man. Hey, that's why America's gonna be destroyed. Put you in it. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Here it is. It's the Christmas season. There ain't nobody smiling. Ain't nobody happy. Where's all the joy? There's people making big money. For real. People making big money. Y'all, they supposed to be in that jolly old merry spirit. <laughs> right. Tis the season to yeah. be jolly. La 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 la. Where's it at? Right, right. Where's it at? That's right. That's right. They say it. They say thirty percent of motherfuckers that pay for last Christmas still paying for it. Yeah, they're you running know? under credit card. They still, right. They still paying for last Christmas. That's why. You know. That's what you happens when you got a wicked ass bitch. You cater into that hoe. You know. Yeah. So when open her stinking legs to you because she won't buy her no Christmas gifts and buy the kids a tree. That's a mess. <laughs> this thing, all the money these people waste, though. They waste the money on Christmas decoration, trees. Uh, they, you got to pay money for the goddamn wrapping, for lights, electricity. Oh, that electric bill going like skyrocket. You could have then took all that money, saved it up, you know what I mean? And did it actually took care of your family with that money. You should have doomsday some doomsday prepping. <laughs> yeah, doom. Yeah, you could have <laughs> planned for some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You said these people, bro, they irresponsible. They stupid. They stupid. That's why I always hate them. Every time we be broke as fuck, we eat some bullshit. But when Thanksgiving comes, we eat like kings. If you, if you can save money, you know what I'm saying? You can eat like that every day, but you want to spend, you want to do all that just for one day. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Mom and you cook. Kitchen cooking, she go in the what she do. She buy food for Thanksgiving, and then you just you sitting there starving, waiting for food. No, you, you gotta wait till tomorrow. Mm. Oh, what the fuck? You couldn't feed us today. Fucking bullshit. Hey, what's the scripture say? Take no, uh, take no thought for tomorrow. Anything more than that's evil. 
Man, these people, man, they, 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 that's so unrealistic. That Christmas is some bullshit. It's so unrealistic. You're going to buy all this shit for one day. Then who, who the hell the right mind to lie to a little ass kid or like Santa Claus? You know, you know, whatever. It's, come on, how you going to do that to your child? That's no mad. Man, you up. Broke, your, broke your neck there. You know, you're laboring for that money to buy that, buy that shit, man. You're going to make up some bullshit, some big fat Edomite. Climb down the goddamn chair. Oh, that's true, because the real Santa Claus, actually the real Saint Nick, Saint Nicholas, he was a black man. You can look up the images on the internet. Uh, type in Saint Nick, you can bring it up. Okay. It's uh, Isaiah 24 and 7. He said earlier that nobody's in that small spirit, nobody in that Christian. Like, <laughs> Halloween, I forgot Halloween came. Like, nobody even gets fucked That shit was that trash. Bullshit. It was gone. It didn't yeah. last. Nobody knocked on my door and nothing happened. It was trash. <laughs> shit, boo. He said, uh, Isaiah 24 and 7. It says, the new wine mourneth, the wine languisheth, all the merry heart at due side. Oh, all the merry heart. That's, yeah, that's that spirit. All the merry heart do side. Ain't nobody merry and jolly out here. Actually, no, Christmas is the worst time of year. People stressing out. More suicides. More suicides. But according to society, if you got money, you make it. You yep. good. Yeah, right. but they ain't got no money. Because, you know, they say, you know, most people live week to week. Their job barely, they barely make enough money from their job to pay their bills. Cause to get, to get a, a one-bedroom apartment costs about, what, 600 That's about the lowest. The cheapest is 600 but most people ain't bringing in but 600 a paycheck. If that, you know what I'm saying? Plus you got yeah, you got to pay rent. Plus you got to pay that rent. You got to pay that electric, them bills. Uh, and car, you can't drive a car with that that insurance is expensive as hell. That's like what? $2,000 a year just for some damn insurance. So this shit is set up to keep you broke and to keep you poor. And these people won't go do they going to take that little bit of money they do got. Oh, whoo! You see that? We'll put that on camera. And Saint Nick ain't never seen a drop of snow in his life. He lived in Anatolia. He lived in Turkey. Okay? He's a black man. Israelite, bro. Yeah, he was an Israelite. He says the mirth of timber season. The noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp season. They shall not drink wine with the song. Strong drinks shall be bitter to them that drink it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> these people out here, they get drunk too, bro. They, you see all these drug addicts out here. They shooting shit up, drinking lean, getting high. People Whoa. dropping like flies out here from that heroin and all that. That's because their life is trash. You know what I'm saying? I hope more people drop dead. That, no, I praise the Lord. People be all crying about the heroin addicts dying. I praise the Lord. It says the city confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There's a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is, is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. And, it's, and, and the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. Woo! Hey, that's what's really coming soon, though. Wait till this economy uh, collapses. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be a beautiful day, man. That reminds me of that one. But it's a, I can't remember what the fuck movie it was. I think it was one of them, uh, you know, it's one of them end time movies when the shit the fan. The dude had some, uh, he had like a bottle of liquor and shit. He was like, something bad happened. I think somebody died, you know what I'm saying? And he just like, he just crashed on the ground, you know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking in my head, like, why the hell would you do that? Like, you could drink right now. That's, I thought of this scripture right here. Cause he said, you go back to it, hold up. Right, let me go back to the Because it said, uh, you shall no longer drink strong drink. It said, uh, they shall not drink wine with strong. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. You know what I'm saying? At that time, they people ain't going to give a fuck about that shit. They're going to be worried about surviving. They're going to be worried about some food. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how stressful it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the hell? Oh, she has some diseases or something. Oh, uh, shit. She probably protected herself. They ain't going to get that buzz no more either. That's what most, that's the only thing most people care about right now anyway. America ain't nothing but a bunch of alcoholics and drug addicts. Everybody high on something. Got a, everybody got a pocket full of pills. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. This is uh, Jeremiah 16. And uh, uh, five. Let me 
started uh, uh, uh yeah, five. It says for thus says Yahweh enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to the limit nor mourn them. I say the one I want, but you keep reading. It says, For I have taken away my peace from this people, saith Yahweh, even love and kindness and mercy. Oh, the Lord took away love and kindness and mercy. Hey, watch the camera. So uh, everybody talking about God's all love and God love everybody, but the scripture said he took away the love and kindness and mercy. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to hear. They don't want to hear. They're those of Israel. They're they not Israel. Hear. They ain't worried about it. They ain't worried about that. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, it says, both the great and small shall die in, in this land. They shall not be buried. Neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, nor make themselves wall for them. Neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning to comfort them for the dead. Neither shall men give them. Couple for the father or for their mother. Thou shalt now also go. This is the one I wanted right here. Thou shalt now also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and to drink. For thus says Yahweh, the, the God of Israel, Behold, I will cause the seeds out of this place in your eyes, and in your days the voice of the of mirth, and the voice of gladness, and the voice of bridegroom, and the voice of the bride. If you don't listen and abide this truth, if you don't, if you don't demand this truth and you don't listen and obey the laws and commandments and do them, all these curses shall overtake you. You know? Yep. If we read it constantly every goddamn week, we warn it again the people still in one ear and out the next. You know, children of disobedience, that's what the most like call Children of disobedience. You know, children of wicked. Just like their fathers were no good son of a bitches, they raising no good son of bitches. You know? I was gonna get you the wrong this person, man. I know that rain started coming, the wind too. We start getting in the spirit, bro. Wind start kicking up. Rain start coming. No good son of bitches. It's actual scripture that says they actually are sons of bitches. Yeah. Like you can actually say that. Sons of dogs. What's that scripture that's called? That's what David called his son's dog. No, and when he was talking to him. No, was the song that song called his son said? But the apocryphal said the women bring forth monsters or something. Mistress women. Mistress women. Mistress women. Ezekiel 21 and 2. It says, Son of man, set, set thy face. I didn't really think it was going to rain like that. Like a two months straight out here, right? Yeah, Bro, we went years with no rain. It all was. That's just the time. It's getting yeah, get gloomy. It's getting yeah, get gloomy. Yeah, yeah. Get gloomy. It's getting dark. dark and gloomy out here. So I welcome it, man. Yep. It's a good time to help. You know, these motherfuckers are gonna wake up to a sunny, beautiful day. That's the last thing I want to see. I don't want to see a bunch. Bunch of roaches crawl. Man, man, fuck all that, man. That's the time when two thirds is at its best, man. When it's all nice out. Oh, uh, yesterday they was coming out the cut. Oh, they was coming. They was nipping yesterday. Yeah. It says, "Son of man, set thy face against Jerusalem and drop thy word towards." And drop thy word towards the holy places and prophesy against the land of Israel. Oh, we supposed to prophesy against the land of Israel. And what did the Lord say in uh, Matthew 10? He said, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And the kingdom of heaven is about to come in and America's going to be destroyed. Then the fire is going to rain down on this bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah, he said, oh, y'all went out here, was you? 
Yeah, we we told this dude that America's gonna be burned with fire. He was like, I hope not. Well, Jake. Yeah, Jake. He said, cause these people that make dumb said they suffer from Stockholm syndrome. It says, and say to the land of Israel, thus saith Yahweh, behold, I'm against thee, and will draw forth my sword out of the sea, and will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked. Seeing then that I will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked, therefore shall my sword go forth out of the sea against all flesh from the south to the north. That all flesh may know that I am Yahweh, have drawn forth my sword out of the sea, it shall not return anymore. And that's a good, good point too, like, when the Lord does destroy this place, everybody going to know, know they're going to see the glory of the Lord. They, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, oh, this is a, the most high is amazing. Why they getting destroyed? Just like when uh, when all the heathen nations seen uh, Egypt get destroyed. And, and they knew that the most high was nothing to play with. You know what I'm saying? I read that part again. What did that say? Where you at? Where you at? Ezekiel 21 and 4. Read that one last part again. They said they might know. What did that say? Therefore shall my sword go forth out of the sheep against all flesh from south to north, that all flesh may know that I am Yahweh, have drawn forth my sword out of the sheep, and shall not return anymore. Yeah, he said, all flesh shall know that I am Yahweh. So, so everybody going to know. What's that one scripture? Uh, was that Isaiah, the Lord, when he returns, you should not return as a man, and every eye shall see him? Every eye shall see him. The Lord going to come out of the heavens, Everybody going to see the Lord. They going to know. Okay, they going to be like, oh, shit. They going to know they done fucked up. You know what I mean? All these raggly ass two-thirds and all these heathens out here. They going to know they done fucked up. Talking about, oh, Bible. The Bible was written by man. That shit's your interpretation. You know all that bullshit we hear every day. Side their force. Thou son of man, with the breaking of thy loins, and with bitterness sigh before their eyes. And it shall be when they say unto thee, Wherefore, sighs die, that thou should answer for the tidings with me. Man, that's about to happen. Yep. Because it cometh, and every heart shall melt, and all hands shall be feeble. Oh, every heart shall melt. There's another scripture on that. Uh, their heart shall fail. Look that up. Oh, hey, that's the spirit, because like, I remember when one time, like, the old nigga came by, he said, uh, uh, terrible. You know, <laughs> be bothered. But the Lord just said right here, side before. Yeah. The Lord just said to Ezekiel, side before their faces. And if they say, why are you sighing? You gotta say because you know the end is near, pretty much. Right? You know what I'm saying that's why. We, that's why we uh, sighing and crying. That's a fire scroll. Where is that? Ezekiel what? Twenty one. That's a good scripture right there. Like I said, the people, the most I said, there are people with no understanding. No understanding. That's just like we was talking about. I mentioned the scripture earlier how the poor man, the poor man. Oh, yeah, we send your boy out there praising Jesus. Right. Going up to everybody and Jesus is good. You know what I mean? Like he was just, he looked like he was damn homeless, but he was just having the best day of his life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Oh, he probably, he probably drunk. right. Yeah, he probably drunk. He gotta be drunk. You feeling that good? Shit, I get drunk, I get even more miserable. Shit. Yeah, that's when, you know what I mean? You start cussing like, fuck these motherfuckers. You fucking hate this goddamn place. Uh, I'll go ahead. It says, And it shall be when they shall say unto, or, yeah, I'm sorry. It says, They shall say unto thee, Walk forth silence, silence thou, that thou shouldest answer for the tidings, because it cometh, and every heart shall melt, and all hands shall be feeble, and every spirit shall faint, and all knees shall be weak as water, Hope it cometh and shall be brought to pass, saith the Lord God. Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also is, is uh, furnished. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughtered. It is furnished so to make. Oh, I'm sorry, he said a sword slaughtered. A sword slaughtered. I'm oh, sorry, that, that's inspired. Right it is furnished that it make glitter. Shall we then make mirth? It containeth the rod of my son as every tree. Here you go, this is Rod 25 and 23. Sort of men my soul hateth. What'd that say? It says, three sorts of oh, men okay. my soul hateth. 
and I am greatly offended at their life. Hey, the a poor high. man He's that is most... proud. Oh, a poor man that is proud. Ooh. Is that, I mean, the most high hate them. A poor man that is, how could you be poor and you living on the bottom and you proud like you something great? You know what I mean? That's stuff is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's like Jake in the hood, you know what I mean? They acting like they, they so bad, they this and that. But they acting like they running shit. You ain't running nothing. It says a poor man that is proud, a rich man that is a liar, and an old adulterer that do it. Ooh, that's a lot of them out here. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's two thirds. It says an old one too. A uh, old adulterer. You know. They, they got experience. The, the old one. The old ones, like, they, they call themselves OGs. Yeah, OGs. OGs. Ice-T is an OG. Oh. Uh, Ice-T. I was just watching your boy you know, Ice-T uh, Ice interview. Yeah. Look at some bitch. He keep coming out with his uh, techno album. Oh, Jeremiah 28 <laughs> and 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. This year thou shalt die because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. Ooh, hey, that's what they teach out here. These people, they teach they, they teach uh, rebellion against the Lord. They say the Lord love everybody. Everybody can be saved. The Most High loves homosexuals. Show me the scripture. Yeah, show me the scripture. Well, most, most people don't even believe in the Most High no more. They say the Bible's bullshit. They say we out here teaching lies. But they gonna get it, man. They got it coming. What did that scripture say? A, did it say a sword destruction? Or a, they're going to be a sword slaughter. That's the day we've been waiting and praying for. Second Nazareth 1 and 8. Pull thou off then the hair of thy head, and cast all evil upon them, for they have done, for they have not been obedient unto my law, but it is a rebellious people. How long shall I forbear them, and to whom I have done so much good? Yeah, that's a heavy, he did, did Israel so much good. Like even when we came up out of the land of Egypt, the Lord delivered us from Egypt out of the hands of the Pharaoh. When we get up in the wilderness, the Israelites start complaining. You know what I mean? He gives us manna to eat, and they complain. They say they want some, they just always murmuring. Israel ain't ne never happy enough. Right back up in that's how, that's how your boy said. Well, he told him America's going to be destroyed. He said, I hope not. But that'd be, that's a gift from the Lord, the Lord destroying America. But these people, they, they want to stay in America. The way he's going to do it is a gift. Yeah, that's a gift. <laughs> and they upset about it. They, they People get mad. We tell them America's going to be destroyed. They get mad. Right. Many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. Pharaoh with his servants and all his power oh, that's have I smitten down. All the nations have I destroyed before them. And in the east I have scattered the people of two provinces, even of Tyrus and Sidon, and have slain all their enemies. Raggedy ass Canaanites. It says, Speak thou therefore unto them, saying, Thus said the Lord Power. I led you through the sea, and in the beginning gave you a large and safe passage. I gave you Moses for a leader and Aaron for a priest. I gave you light and a pillar of fire. Yeah. And great wonders have I done among you. It's like coming out of Egypt. That yeah. was a great one. That was the spirit. That's right. You know, check it out. Before we left for battle, that he was working great wonders. Yeah. You know, the plagues he was The plague. Oh, yeah. he hit him with that darkness. Right. Turn the, turn the, uh, the water to blood. Hey, check that out, though. The darkness. The darkness. You can feel it. Yeah, you can feel the darkness. <laughs> that's, you can't imagine that, That's man. just terrifying shit. Yeah, that's terrifying. The most high is terrifying. Damn right. That darkness, them, them, them demons by smacking the shit out of me, man. What does the scripture say that the most high is the king of terrors? King of terrors. Where was I at? I gave you light in a pillar of fire, a great wonders have I done among you. Ye have yet have ye forgotten me, saith the Lord. They are still complaining, because you can't Israel can't be satisfied. Two thirds of Israel, they, you can't satisfy them. Right. You can't make them happy. They, they physically uh, have it. What's that scripture? Let me get it, man. Yep, unless they physically have it. Two-thirds of these motherfuckers got to physically have faith. They are ungrateful. Faith, faith is there winning the lottery, you know, winning the lottery for millions. They won't be happy with that. They'll right, still complain. Right. That's their faith, man. Yep. Their faith is physical. They're carnally minded. Yep.
Is there more to that? Um. Let's take a Lord Almighty power. The clouds were as a focus. I gave you tents for your safeguard. Nevertheless, you murmured there and triumphed not in my name for the destruction of your enemies. But ever to this day do ye yet murmur. And hey, Ezra always murmured. It says, but ever to this day. Even to this day. <laughs> they still did, you know what I'm saying? A bunch of demons. Right. Where are the benefits that I have done for you? When ye were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did ye not cry unto me? Saying, why hast thou brought us into this wilderness to kill us? It had been better for us to have served the Egyptians than to die in this wilderness. See, they, they, they still, they had the choice be, be, to choose between America being destroyed. You know, they, they, they would choose to stay in America. Yep. Yep. They would rather live here and live in this bullshit than get delivered by the Lord. Yeah, this is hard bondage out here. You don't get you don't get to enjoy none of your own time out in this country. All you do is just spend your whole life going back and forth to work. That word blind, man. The word blind. blind. Yep. It really means like a like oppression. Grind is friction. When you grind something. Yeah, or um or burden. Yeah, burden. Something stupid. Like what you say, grind. Stockholm Syndrome. And Jake always like to say, I'm yeah. on my grind. Stockholm Syndrome. Captured bonding. They even got our women working out here. I see women be on social media or whatever. They, they, oh, they go, definitely go, everybody's going to work high. Everybody do everything high. They can't do nothing without being high. Right. You know There's very few men that got sense enough to keep But you got women, the women right. a lot of these women working like two jobs. Stupid. Ain't nobody getting no rest out here. Women like them two times because they fucking motherfuckers at both of them. And they ain't doing no work. Shit. Right. A lot of these jobs are really useless jobs, man. They really are. All these motherfuckers is doing is sitting on front of the fucking phone. That, a lot of these jobs is call centers, man. Yeah, it's some <laughs> old bullshit. Right. It's worthless jobs, man. When you work with these women, I know you work with some women, right? The men always got to do everything for you. Oh, yeah. Like, I can't do that. That's too heavy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they always yeah. come to get you to do everything. Right. Why, why, why are you here? And then you go to Walmart, they got actual retarded people working. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see that shit? Hey, let me say, them Russians can't wait to go at America, man. They can't wait, because they making them, it's, it's a joke to them, man. These motherfuckers put women on the front line now. These nations can't wait to come after these motherfuckers. Can't wait. What the fucking woman gonna do in the middle of fucking chaos, man? She gonna cry. If a man breaks down and cry, when there's videos all over YouTube, motherfuckers crying in the middle of a gunfight. Oh, Jesus, save me! <laughs> what the fucking woman gonna do, man? <laughs> Shit. It says, um, ready for the destruction of America, my brother? No, 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 no. Santa, no, no. Satan, no. Yeah, he getting ready for old Satan Nick. Old Saint Nick. You know you're an Israelite? I don't celebrate none of that. You know you're an Israelite? Oh, it says by humble. That's what we're teaching. We're bringing us back home to the truth. The Father, you the Father, the Son, the Holy Shadow. We ignorantly call Jesus. We're telling our brothers like you, you're from the tribe of Judah. We don't know way up out of here. This whole place is going to get destroyed, bro. That's what we're reading about. Alright, with this, you say? This is oh, the, we know. This is the end of our captivity. Alright, with this. The end of our slavery. <laughs> After this is over. Oh, shit. That's a shoot. People that got no understanding about what's coming, man. Have literally have no understanding about what's coming. I